What's going on guys? It's Brandon or Tesla Flex and today I'll be installing the hand show powered sunshade for my Tesla Model Y. The Tesla Model Y is Tesla's most popular vehicle and one of the main features is the massive panoramic roof. But there is some complaints because sometimes, especially in warmer climates, people have issues with heat and it gets too hot and the sun beats down. So this is actually a solution to that problem. All right, so let's check inside the box and see what we have. Pretty good packaging. It looks like it's all pretty straightforward. So right here in the box, we have the powered sunshade. It looks like this is the part that plugs in. And then if I go over here, yeah, here's the motor. And then we have a little QR code with instructions and some wiring. Now before I can actually start installing this, I have to take this part, the cover, the cargo cover, out of the Model Y and just set it aside. Next, I'm gonna fold down the second row, which is pretty easy, I can just do that and it folds flat. Now before I can actually start the installation, I have to turn off the car. So I go into the safety tab, scroll down to the very bottom and click power off. And then I'll turn the car off. And as long as I don't open or close any of the doors, it will stay off. Next, I'm gonna take this seal off. And I have to basically take it all the way off up until about here. But don't worry, it goes back on pretty easily. So that's good enough. And then I actually have to peel this back. So I need to be very careful. I think the plastic part comes first. But it doesn't need to go that far back. Basically, I just need to have it back enough that I can feed a wire through and have it go through here. Now for the first step, I'm actually just going to be using this. It's a pigtail. And if you come in the back of the trunk of the Model Y, uh, for the 12 volt outlet, it has this connector right here, and you kind of see there, these are basically the exact same. That's because you're supposed to unplug this and then plug it back into here, and then plug right here, kind of, I mean, just pigtail connecting all together. And then we can kind of push that back inside. And this is the wire that I'll be feeding all the way up through here. And then I also feed up through the, da or the headliner too. Now that I have the wire threaded through, it's all the way up here. I tucked it underneath. And then as you can see on this side, I have it pop through. And all I did was just pull a wire through with a piece of tape and it got out. Then there's also a little bit of a longer wire so I can tuck this back in eventually. But now that that's done, I can go ahead and put the seal back in place. Now that I have all the seals put back together and everything's wired right, I can put in the actual sunshade into the car so all I have to do is put it in upside down because obviously it's going in like that. And then you have to kind of slide it in diagonally, very carefully. And also make sure the motor end is obviously in the rear because that's where the sunshade goes. And you kind of just squeeze it in there. And then I'll push it a little bit further in. Or I'll pull it a little bit for, further in right here. And there we go, should just pop right up here. And now I can start by putting it through the back. So now to actually slide this in, I have to essentially get these black, little black clips that, I are, that I'll have on the screen right now. And I basically just push it inward. And then I go to the other side and I put these in. Last step, all I have to do is use these little black metal things that <laughs> screw in. Basically, you just slide it between the glass and the headliner and then there should be a screw hole here yeah, right here and you basically just screw it in and it'll hold it in place all right so now that the sunshade is fully installed let's go ahead and test it out so there's these two buttons right here the back one is to obviously push it back and the front one is to go forward so i press this it should close the sunshade should be no issues it's really cool to watch and it's pretty quick. But now you can see it's a lot darker in here. So honestly, this could be good for just times when you don't want to have the sun beaming down on you. So I'm also going to test opening it. So if I press on this button right here, it'll obviously open up the sunshade. And honestly, I think it opens faster than it closes. But I'm really impressed with this. Like the motor, it's pretty quiet. It doesn't sound too bad. Obviously, you're not going to be, you know, running the motor constantly. So while it is kind of annoying to have that running, you're not going to be doing it like every 10 minutes, maybe like once a day at most. If you want to get one of these sunshades for yourself, you can get it in the description below. And also don't forget to use code TeslaFlex to save 15% on your order. All right, guys, that's going to be all for this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about the Handshow sunshade 
or just anything Tesla or anything with the Model Y. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.